So what's up Tomashians, it's your friend and neighborhood Tomashian here, Kate Tetsu and today we're going to talk about tips and tricks on how to start your daily lives as Tomashians here at the University of Santo Tomas. And with further ado, our topic for today is Organizations 101, Your Road to Success. So here at the University of Santo Tomas, we got a lot of events and projects in store for you guys and for the whole Tomashian community. And we all know itong mga projects nato. Hindi to ginagawa ng kahit sino man and these are made by organizations. And I'm going to give you guys a step-by-step -step process on how to join organizations, what are the structural uh, integrities of these organizations, and what are the organizations to join for and to strive for as freshman students here at UST. Our basic course of Organization 101, ang una nating alamin or what are organizations and ano bang uh, differences nito. So here in the University of Santa Tomas, there are a lot of organizations and we will be first dividing them into two. And ito yung pinaka basic uh, understanding to know organizations. So first of all, we got the university-wide organizations. Uh, university-wide organizations, these are organizations focused more on the university-wide aspect in a way na pwede sila mag-recruit ng members from different colleges, faculties, and institutes. So, so basically, if you got the aptitude for it, you can join this you, you can join this university-wide organizations. I'm sorry. And next we have is the college-based organizations. Itong mga college-based organizations are uh, organizations wherein only selected students can join this organization. Selected students in a way na if this sabihin natin si Tomasian Game Society so Tomasian Game Society is only exclusive for CICS students for the meantime so only CICS students can apply for this organization itself so ayun muna yung pita basic na pwede kong ituro sa inyo guys so here at the University of Santo Tomas there are a lot of classifications of organizations and uh I will not be mentioning a lot of them because there are a lot of organizations so you can check them out yourself on our uh, student recognized page I'll be linking it here here or maybe in the link down below our comments description pala <laughs> description so I will be mentioning some of the few organizations that I know and pretty sikat and syempre you can check out the other organizations uh, as well later if you want or if you have the time so uh, first of all let's start off with ISEC so see ISEC USD uh, it is a global non-political independent and non-profit organization that has an international platform for young individuals to explore and develop their leadership potential so see ISEC this is more of an engagement na organization wherein they want to train certain in they want to train the individuals na gustong sumali dito to have more uh, communica communicative skills but the interpersonal skills to mingle and chat with other people so you will not be only talking to specific people in the University of Santa Tomas but you will go in the international scale and meet with other schools universities abroad and in the national level so if you got what it takes to join ISEC so win. join ISEC next we have is the Mashin Film Society CTFS so CTFS it's a university wide organization that focuses on the pre uh, on the film part or uh, production part of our cinemas and films and the likes. So CTFS it is a premier film organization of USD and they really focus more on cinematic production. So if you have the if you have what it takes to make films or just want to share your creative aspects or ideas you can join Tomashian Film Society and you just have to wait kung kailan sila nagre-recruit so if you are a cinematic if you are a cinematic person you like to take films yeah, join TFS and then next we have here is Foto Tomasino so si Foto Tomasino uh, si Foto Tomasino they are the Tomashian Photographers Guild and they focus more on the uh, photography side of BSD. So, sila mostly nag take ng pictures, pati mga coverages na solid. Lalo na pag meron tayo mga events and such. So, if you, if, you, if you have what it takes to be a 
if to be a great photographer and you want to hone more of your skills and get some tips with creative people and such, you can join Photo Tomasino, the Tomasian Photographer Guild. So, ayun. Let's go. And last but not the least we have here is Tomasino Web. So, si Tomasino Web, it is a digital media organization of the University of Santo Tomas dedica- dedicated to telling stories and creating new experiences that can connect to Tomasians via news, culture, and entertainment through modern web. So, ayun, uh, si, si Tomasino Web, they are more of um, they are more on the side of news pati media literacy. Tapos, ayun, uh, they share more of they, they share most of the experiences of Tomasians via the aptitude of the media web and a lot of aspect of the internet side. So, ayun, um if you have what it takes to join Tomasino Web and you want to make coverages, uh, hone your skills via script writing, making a lot of entertainment, news, cultures, and the likes, you can join Tomasino Web and hone your skills. So that will be all for our university-wide aspect and now we will be continuing off with our student religious organization. So next we have our student religious organizations na in the university-wide aspect and I only know two organizations. The rest you can check it out on the website once again. So first of all, ang pinakasikat sa lahat is Pax Romana. So si Pax Romana, it is a university-wide organization more into the religious part and has 11 faculty and college-based units kasi napakalaki nila and they are a premier religious student arm that pioneers organization var- that organizes various activities and events for the total formation of Catholic Christian individuals so the organization is composed of students united by Catholic faith and the passion of serving God and his people so if you're into uh, church activities and you really want to help out and do a lot of missions you can join uh, USD Pax Romana and then to be followed with Pax Romana, Pax Romana we also have CFC Youth for Christ so the CFC it is a young community of believers and a ministry of couples for Christ global mission foundation and they are focuses on renewing the Holy Spirit as the face of the earth uh, doing a lot of missions that will help and build the home and be the church for the poor so and it has, they have already established a lot of more than uh, a lot of missions in a lot of countries. So, if you're into joining uh, Youth for Christ and Pax Romana, feel free to and good luck in joining their organization. Alright, so next up to our categories of university wide organizations are the cultural organizations of USD. So, these are organizations focused on the different cultural aspects of countries all over the world. So first we have is Anyong Tomasino. So if you're into K-pop culture, uh, Korean music, manhwa, or something, uh, but if you want to know more of the culture of Korea, you can join Anyong Tomasino. Next we have is the Japanese people. So if you want to know more of the culture of Japan, you can join Tomasha Nihon Kyokai. So, see si Nihon Kyokai, they focus more on the cultural aspect of Japan. This focus more on the anime, cosplay, uh, manga. They focus more a lot on the cultural and traditional aspects of Japan. If you want to know more, more about Japan, please do join Tomashan Nihon Kyokai. And then to be followed will be USD Scarlet Central. So USD Scarlet Central focuses on the Filipino Chinese students and they do a lot and share a lot of their cultural aspect and view being Filipino Chinese students. So if you want to know more about the Chinese culture, you can join USD Scarlet Central. So next we have is Performing Arts. So ito yung pinakasikat na organizations na mostly sinasalihan ng mga students na inclined into social media and performing arts. So first of all we have here is Media Artrix. So si Media Artrix, they are an organization that focuses more in multimedia and the art enthusiasts of the University of Santa Tomas. So they are focused on discovering, encouraging, and nurturing Tomasian talent skills with appreciation of uh, getting to know with the freedom of expression. So, ayun, if you're into if you're into multimedia and such, you can join Media Artrix. 
then next we have is next we have on our list is musicat so musicat is our premier organization that focuses on music and developing talents in the field of music so if, if you're into singing uh creating tracks you know you like to make spotify playlist or just listen to music you're a music lover you can join musicat and I really encourage you guys to join Musicat. Uh, I'm a member of Musicat. It's a good, it's a good organization. If you like music, feel free to join Musicat. And then next we have is Teatro Tomasino. So for Teatro Tomasino, they focus more on the theater side of things. So Teatro Toma, so Teatro Tomasino is a university-wide theater guild, and they focus more on. Uh, making theaters for the university itself and they really want to hone skills of certain individuals if you have what it takes to be part of Teatro Tomasino. They also uh, they are also looking for actors and actresses that will represent plays and future skits in the college setting that we have today in USD. So if you have what it takes to join Teatro Tomasino, be a scriptwriter, props, or you just want to be an actor and actress, please do join Teatro Tomasino. And last but not the least for our uh, for our performing arts organization is to Machine Media and Circle of Talents, also known as USD Tomcat. So USD Tomcat is our events man is our premier events management and media production organization of University of San Tomas. So Tomcat has already produced a lot of events such as hashtag Balik Uste. They focus more. So see Tomcat, they really focus more on the event side, and they really want to make more on the media production and such. Uh, they are also inclined into content creation. If you want to join, so in uh. If you really want to be more on the media production and events management, want to know more about it, you can join USD Tomcat. And there are a lot of divisions. And I was a former member of Tomcat. It was my first organization on my part as a freshman student, and I really enjoyed it to the fullest. But I quit it because of certain reasons. But it's a good organization to join. So if I were you guys, go join USD Tomcat. So we are nearing the end of our university-wide organizations. Next we have is social civic organizations. And once again, I'm really sorry if I'm not describing almost all of the organizations because I do not have a clue or any idea on what they are all about and I only know some of these organizations. And you guys can check them out at our recognized student organizations webpage here that I will be linking. Yeah, link I'll be linking it out for you guys to check out. So anyways, without further ado, once again, social civic organizations. First we have for social civic is Red Cross Youth Council, USD. So for Red Cross Youth, they are a premier organization that focuses on doing donation drives, helping out people, uh, more on into the Red Cross community. So if you really, if you really want to help out people, uh, do a lot of stuff, you can join USD Red Cross. So feel free to join USD Red Cross. Next we have is USD Huraya. So see USD Huraya is one of the most famous organizations as well in USD. So USD Huraya is an advocate for safe space and intersectional feminism. So they want to achieve equality for all genders, races, religions, classes, and identities. So if I were you guys, please join USD Huraya. USD Huraya. They are one of the best organizations that advocates for equality for everyone. So please join them if you can. All right. Uh, next we have is USD UNESCO. So throughout the years, USD UNESCO it has been dedicated in building advo advocacy through education, culture, natural, human, and social sciences. So if you want to be a part and be a leader and want to help out our community, you can join USD UNESCO. So there are a lot of organizations to take in, guys. Especially starting from the top and until the bottom. So once again, we have university-wide student organizations, student religious organizations, cultural organizations, performing arts, and social civic organizations. So there are a lot of organizations to join. So if I were you, choose choose them carefully, and good luck in finding your home organization for you guys to join. So 
So next we have is college-based organization. Itong mga college-based organizations can only be joined by specific students from the different faculties, colleges, and institutes. So pag hindi ka kasama sa specific na faculty, college, or institute, hindi ka makakasali dito. A good example to give is our college org from the College of Information Computing Sciences which is the Machine Game Society. So CTGS, we focus more on the innovative and creativity side of video games and we want to focus more on video game culture to make it a safe space for all to mash in video game enthusiasts so if mahilig ka maglaro ng games and you just want to meet people with with the same interest as you are with video games in line you can join our organization and make the most out of it with our certain aspect of video games we are also a lot of prizes to include and a lot of activities focusing more on content creation uh, video game development and more on the tournament and game side of video games so if you want to join us feel free to join the machine game side all right i guess that's about it for university-wide organizations and college-based organizations for college-based organizations hintayin nyo lang sila to be posted by your specific cbos and your designated recruitment week and then the next topic we have will be how to join these organizations and ayun nga, what are the requirements in joining these organizations itself so now let's talk about joining these organizations there, so there will be an event called R101 recruitment week 101 wherein this will be celebrated on September which will let organizations do their recruitment drives to get a gist and collect a lot of uh, students who are really interested in joining the organization so if i were you uh wait on september and follow these specific pages if you're inclined in joining them or so and then also take note that some organizations will be requiring you to pass a curriculum vitae so what is a curriculum vitae cv is like a resume wherein you post your personal information on such as your name address your age uh, personal background to be specific and you have to post as well on your education part and your notable achievements and positions before on your high school days and such so take note this is an important aspect so i will be also sending uh, a link on how to make a curriculum vitae soon if you really want to make one and next we have is some organizations will also some organizations are not that strict with curriculum vitae and they'll be conducting with conducting interviews so this interviews so this interviews are more on the formal part and the getting to know stage to see if you are qualified to join the organization itself as a member so take note that you have to be prepared and you have to be confident enough to answer all the questions given by the HR staff on that specific organization and once you ace all of those questions then they will welcome you with open arms in their organizations and some organization and some organizations will just let you fill up a Google form and then once you submit and apply on that Google form you are an automatic member of that organization so there are a lot of ways and uh, there are a lot of ways for these organizations to recruit their uh, selected students uh, to join as members and it will really take a lot of time to get to know but you'll get a gist of it and yeah good luck to everyone joining organizations. So now let's focus on the structural part of organization. So once you pass your interviews, the recruitment drive or anything, you will start off as a member and as a member of an organization, you have to focus more on supporting and participating events hosted by these certain organizations and also take note some organizations will automatically require you to be part of a committee in order to distinguish members that are really interested on certain committees or divisions of a certain organization so uh, next we have after being a member uh, you can be counted as a staff so being a staff itself under a committee or a division is very hard and you will be having workloads on this part and you'll be assisting your team heads or your directors with any kinds of projects involved uh, to be set on your division and committee at hand. 
So being a staff, you'll be a member with a workload and you have to really help out with anything as long as you can. So this staff, so being a staff, you can add this on your curriculum vitae once if you are qualified for it and recruited for the certain role itself and being a staff itself you have to be interviewed by uh, by the executive board member so this will take uh, this will be another interview for them to check out if you really qualify as a staff for the organization itself and then next we have is executive associates so executive associates are assistants of the executive coordinator team head or directors so every director team heads or executive coordinators they will be having assistants to help them out with the workload that they will be having so executive associates will also be conducting so for to apply for ea you have to be interviewed by uh, the directors at hand to get to know you more and once again you can put this ea role on your cv to showcase your experiences as a student uh a student head and a student leader of that organization so and then next we have is directors or team heads so this so being a director or a team head these are student heads that lead a certain division or committee so we have different committees in all organizations i'll just give an example so for example in the public publicity community so there will be an assigned team head he will be the one in charge of that committee and then he'll be helped out by executive associates and with its when with its staff so there will be a lot of ways and a lot of terminologies to learn about uh, the structural in integrity of organizations but you'll get a hang of it so if you have what it takes being a freshman student and you you think you're up for being a director or an executive associate go for it because during my stay i during during my during my freshy days uh, i was i was applying to organizations and in tomcat i was accepted on my first year as an executive associate to the internal and pop to the interactive in public relations so i was an ea before on my first year and then on the student council part i was a director of publicity so i was holding a high role already and on our and on my mother organization which is usd site uh, i was also holding team head for publicity so i was holding three major positions on my freshy week i'm um, on my, my freshy days and it did me to have a lot of opportunities and experiences in handling events and papers and the like so if you're up to a very direct and director role go for it so there's nothing to lose and then next we have is executive coordinators executive coordinators are assistants of the executive board and they help out with most of the tasks assigned to the division so the executive coordinator will be the point person for the executive board officer and the directors to conduct their interviews and basically the executive coordinator will act as the assistant of an executive board officer so yeah and then next and last but not the least is the executive board officer so an officer so these officers are an officer of the organization and they are part of the executive board council so they make up the executive board of an organization and they are the top of the top of the organization itself and they are in charge in handling the committees assigned to them so that is basically the structural part of organizations and there are more to learn and you will get a hang of it once you join organization so i guess that will be all with the structural part and a keen fact to all our freshman students if you really what if you if you're really shy at the meantime you can apply as a member and then if you have what it takes to lead people you can join a staff and if you really have what it takes to have leadership potential you can join as executive associates or directors or team heads of a certain part of a certain organization so good luck to everyone and i hope you guys can ace all of the interviews given to join this structural part of our organizations so i guess that will be all also take note that there is a certain difference of being a member and a staff
So being a member itself, you just have to support and give contribution to the uh, organization itself. You just have to show your support, participate in events, and that's about it. And being a staff, there will be workloads such as uh, joining, such as joining events, uh, conducting them, being a staff that will help out uh, officers in the events and. Yeah, so being a staff will just add workload and being a member will just make you participate. That's about it on the difference between member and staff. So good luck and happy hunting to all our freshies in joining organizations and knowing what position you want to take. Alright, now let's talk about what are the perks of joining organizations. So, the perks of joining organizations is that you will have a lot of connections. This is the big word in joining organizations. Connections, wherein you will meet new people and get to know them more. So, connections is number one of being a perk in joining organizations. Second is experience. So, these experiences in joining organizations, you can put them up in your curriculum vitae. And then you will just put all of the experiences and the positions that you have handled in joining the organizations and the events that you have hosted on being the orga on being with the organization itself. So that is one of the, those are perks that you can attain when joining organizations. And last but not the least, there there will be also package deals to be set by partnerships or sponsors of an organization because organizations can have partnerships in line so sometimes there will be like a discount on a certain shop or maybe uh, a free workshop or something that you could join there are a lot of perks in joining organizations and it's for you guys to know when joining them and lastly let's end it off with uh, q a so for the q a part these are questions usually ask when joining organization so the first question that we will be having is am i required to join organizations so uh, first of all you are not required to join organizations it's up to the student if he or she wants to join certain organizations or such if you want to if you want to focus more on the academic part it's fine but it is highly encouraged for all students to join organizations because it really brings out the fun in being in a college setting so uh, if you're going to focus more on the study part uh, it will be kind of boring but it is dependent on the person itself to be honest but uh, joining organizations will really help and up the mood of your learning experiences and will give you a lot of valuable experiences and knowledge into joining uh, uh, organizations especially once you graduate you'll get a lot of experiences that you can put on your curriculum vitae you can have it as a bonus proof in conducting your interviews when you're going to find a job so yeah you're not required but it is highly encouraged so so happy hunting guys and next we have is the maximum of organizations to join so apparently there is no maximum cap into joining organizations uh, to be honest, I myself have a lot of organizations. I'm not going to say the number, but I have a lot of organizations. And some of the organizations I'm holding, uh, I'm holding st a student head or an executive board officer. So I have a lot of, uh, I love, I have a lot of uh, events and activities in my plate, and I really have to do a lot of time management. So yeah. So there, once again, there is no maximum of there is no maximum amount of organizations you join. As long as you join as a member, you will be safe. But some organizations will require you to lessen the amount of your organizations in joining. So just check out the articles of association made by that organization itself. So there are strict rules, especially when you're a student head. Or an executive board officer you can only be limited into joining organizations of course for you to not hinder your work and such so there are a lot of ways and you just have to know them so maximum for organizations to join there is no cap you can join a lot and it will be dependent on the organi organization itself okay next question we have here is do I have to be a freshman to join organizations so the answer to that is no 
whether if you are a freshman, a sophomore, uh, a junior, or a senior, you can still join organizations, regardless of your year. So as long as you're up to it and you're qualified for it, then go ahead, join organizations and make the most out of it. So yeah, there, you don't have to be a freshman. Uh, in any year, you can join. Uh, usually, the basic tip I give to freshman students when they start off and they want to join the BS org, you kidding? Uh, if they want to be uh, more of an organizational part student, the most tip that I give to them is in their first year, they try out college based organizations. And then in, this, in their second year, they can now apply for second. In their second year, they can now apply for university wide organizations. And if they can handle more, you know, they can go for more. So fresh the freshman year will be more of like a testing waters if you can handle out organizations and such. But I'm pretty sure you guys could handle it. Malas kayo, may tuwala sa inyo. So kaya yan. So yun. If hindi yun talaga kaya, don't force yourself. Uh, just try out. Uh, do your ano, do your thing. Test out, and yun. You'll get a hang of it. Uh, yeah. So I guess that's about it for the organizations part. Uh, I'll be posting another video with regards to um, creating a curriculum vitae because it really is hard to explain. But I'll be posting a video next time if I can. <laughs> but anyways, uh, let's move on to the motivational part of this video. So an inspirational quote na gusto ko ibigay sa inyo lahat is to get out, to step out of your shell and test out the waters. Test out the waters in a way na alam kong kahit nakakatakot, i-test out nyo pa rin kasi ayokong ma ayokong magsisi kayo in the end na sayang, hindi ko pala to nakuha and such. So, test it out kahit nakakatakot siya. Kahit isa or dalawa lang yan, test it out. Kasi, ako kasi I was a transfer student. Uh, galing, laki ako ng Qatar and nag-transfer ako sa Pilipinas and then sa junior sa senior high school journey ko kasi dito ako nag senior high senior high school journey ko I was bullied kasi wala akong kakilala I don't know anyone I was new in the Philippines and then uh, with that I focused more with the academic side and then sa academic side I got with high honors tapos I got a lot of achievements rin on the ano pero I wanted more I wanted to bloom and I wanted to be I want to release my inner self. Like I want to know more about kung sino pa talaga si Charles. So ayun. And then I told myself na pag college na ako, magbo-bloom ako. Tapos ayun nag bloom ako. So nung college I told myself na sasali muna ako ng organization. So my first organization in USD was Tomcat USD. So pumasa ako sa interviews nila. Tapos uh pumasa rin ako doon sa 'di ba naging member na ako sa Tomcat USD na interview ako and I was facing contenders na my experience pati most of them are senior high school UST senior high school tas ako I'm an outsider so ayun medyo ano pero nagulat ako on my behalf na nakuha ako as an executive associate for interactions and public relations public relations and laking gulat ko nun na natanggap ako so it really boosted my confidence and really made me happy that ano kahit ano pala I have what it takes to be to be a leader and then after that um, I applied to my mother organization CST site naging ano ako team head for publicity uh, hindi ko alam kung bakit publicity kahit mahihain ako pero because of joining site and ICSSC nag- umusbong yung ano ko confidence ko and I can now and I'm now actually ex- actually ngayon extroverted now eh that introvert ako na in a way na hindi ako nag hindi ako nakikipag-usap sa ibang tao but right now yeah so ayun team head for publicity and ayun then after that I also joined um the our st- st- nag join ako sa student council namin ICSSC I was the director of for publicity and ayun I was holding three major positions and laking gulat ko na kinaya ko yun <laughs> and such and then ayun ah uh, until now, I'm still holding uh, team head for publicity, pero na promote na auto vice president for publicity. So I'm handling the IT peeps of uh, USD site, and then next is 
uh, director pub- for publicity pa rin ako pero hindi ka ano ka-active yung SC na- yung SC namin and there will be re-elections so hindi na ako magiging director for publicity so sad tapos si Tomcat naman uh, I already left Tomcat uh, two years ago uh, nag-leave ako ng second semester ko ng first year kasi uh, nagulat na ako kasi I wanted to maraming complications kasi na nangyari dun sa Tomcat ko pero it was a well it was a good journey in fact pati yung mga naging advisors ko doon pati notable mentors ko I really consider them as uh, very helpful on my journey to becoming who I am as of today and napaka solid nila if I could go if I could turn back time and say thank you to them I would but right now it's very complicated pero <laughs> ayun um but I, I really am thankful for all of their teachings pati you know, experiences na binigay nila sa akin and ayun lang naman so far so uh guys we have four years in college college is a chapter or a portion only of our life so four years you have four years to go and you have the four and you have four years to make the most out of it most of the alumnus will say na they want to go back to the college life kasi miss na miss na nila yung org life and ayun i'm making the most out of it because of that because of that so if i were you guys freshman pa kayo make the most out of it so kahit hindi kayo freshman make the most out of it kasi kaya yan so ayun sana wag kayo magsisi and ayun enjoy the student life of college with organizations kasi you, with that you can break out of your shell and you will be experiences you'll be experiencing experiencing a lot of opportunities ahead of you lalo na sa connections so ayun join, join organizations guys i really hope that you guys join so i guess that's about it for me so ano thank you for listening guys thank you for uh taking heed of my words kahit hindi naiintindihan pero ayun thank you so i guess that's about it uh, i would like to welcome once again everyone to the university of santo tomas and please enjoy the life that you will be having here at usd especially with being bs org yung bs org kasi it's a joke for people na they, it's a joke for us we're in yung mga taong mahilig mag org over akads tawag nila doon is bs org <laughs> tapos yung mga yung mga bs org na to more into akads pero ako naman i can manage at the same time i'm more of bs org pati bs aral rin kasi i'm also dins i'm a dins lister pati uh, ayun i'm handling organizations with high positions right now so ayun uh, pero kumakayod naman pero ayun, uh, I guess that's about it. And once again, it's your friendly neighbor to mash and create Tetsu. And thank you for watching this video. And thank you for everything. Now signing off and hoping for you guys to find your new home organization in the University of Santo Tomas. Once again, signing off.